in the few few videos ago we actually talk about solving this this question using a general equation but you may wonder that if let's say in the test we are, we are not given a general equation then how do we solve and therefore the only way is to solve the old method all right the the primitive method we're gonna solve our own self all right so therefore in this video we'll talk about solving it just straight away all right no need no need to apply the general equation oh, or in other words we don't apply the general equation in this video because we keep talking about Euler's forward why not we talk about Euler's backward formula okay so in this video I'll use the backward formula to actually solve for this thing okay so I will believe that you already know the, the, the stuff this is 80 Hertz and this is the frequency all right so in order to start know that D of S is equals to U of S over E of S all right so in order to write that for properly write it over here for simplicity sake all right and I'll just do out this portion over here 25 s plus 25 over s plus 15 U of s over e of s now I bring this up I bring this up this form all right so I'll just bringing this up I'll have this one over here same as for this one okay now I gotta expand into them all right multiply them inside have this one all right and we know s u s is simply u dot t and we know that u s is simply s i mean u s is simply u sorry so i'll have 15 u t all right we know that a s e s is simply um e e dot t all right because of this s over here plus 25 e t okay so far so good because I actually assume that you know everything in the previous part already. Alright, so let's continue. I continue. I just want to let you know that um, what I do, if you happen that you don't know what I mean, is that I'm just taking inverse Laplace. Alright, I'm just taking inverse Laplace. If that sounds more, more com like you know, more logical to you. Now I'm gonna apply our Euler's backward formula. Alright, this is backward. Alright, with a uh, x k minus k minus 1 all right if I were to apply it meaning that for u dot t I'll just sub in this formula so for example this okay so I'll submit u dot t as this one which is totally following this Euler's formula backward all right I'm talking about backward all along now now okay in this video now well this 15 u t I'll just write as 15 u k okay the t changed to k as for this one, because this is e dot t, we're gonna use also the Euler's formula backward. Yeah, in other words, this one is simply this one, okay? Plus twenty five e k. All right, change simply change the t into k. That's all. All right, over here. Over here, twenty five. I can just multiply them inside over each of the side for for better sake. All right. So I'm simply multiplying twenty five inside which is over here right now all right now we know that frequency or in other words the period is equals to 1 over f so 1 over the period is equals to the frequency and we know that the frequency is 80 hertz all right it's from the question over here 80 hertz and therefore I can just simply sub 1 over t as 80 all right so why are the terms have 1 over t? This term has 1 over t, this term has 1 over t. So I'm just simply subbing in them in terms of times 80. Alright, so we have. So I'm just simply subbing 1 over t as 80. So I'm just multiplying 80 hertz to this system right now. Same as for this case. Alright, this case. Now, then I multiply, I multiply 80 inside. I'll multiply 80 inside of these functions all right and we have 80 over here all right 80 multiply inside of the all of them same as for this case 80 times 25 is 2000 all right and then um, 80 times this minus 25 is minus 2000 I'm just simply subbing in all right in the previous videos we talked about forward loop we express things in terms of uk plus one all right uk plus one which is uh, in this case is let me see it's this one right we, we illustrate things in terms of uk plus one now in our case we will illustrate things 
in terms of UK minus 1. Alright, and let's see how. Okay. So all I can do is to just simply bring this over this side. We bring this over this side. Alright, so I'll just simply bring this term. I'll just bring it to the other side. I'll just bring this term. I'll just bring it to the other side. And then I'll just bring this thing closer over here. Okay, so I have this term as minus already instead of this term previously was was plus all right now we're gonna rearrange now i'm gonna change this this term into plus because it's now in terms of minus all right so i'll just multiply everything by minus also multiply everything by minus over here all right i'm just flipping the sign from minus to plus from plus to minus this one will become minus this one will become plus, this one will become plus. Okay? My objective is to express all the terms in terms of C1, C2, and C3, some constants. Alright? So this is my objective right now. So in order to group them, I have to find their co same constants. EK and EK over here. Alright? This is minus EK over here. And then we have uh, UK and UK together. Alright? I'll just denote them as square. EK is by himself. I mean, EK minus 1 is by himself. So if I were to group them and separate them in terms of EK, what I would have, for example, this is minus 3, this is minus 2000, right? I think it's minus 2000, yeah, minus 2000, right? And therefore, if I were to do that, so it's minus 2000, minus 25, EK, and then 15 UK, plus 80 UK or I can just simply write over here 50 plus 80 80 UK and then this one plus 2000 goes to the 80 UK minus 1 alright if I will solve for all these values okay what do I have this form alright and then if I want to express in terms of UK minus 1 Alright, then I'm going to divide everything by 80. Okay? And I will have the answer if I want to find for UK minus 1. However, in our form, in our question, if you take a look, we are expressing things in terms of UK plus 1. Alright, UK plus 1. Alright, for example, UK and UK minus 1. Which one is UK plus 1 for this case? This one is in fact UK plus 1 for if you are talking about this, right? Yeah, I mean, this is UK minus 1, yes. So UK minus 1 plus 1 is UK. That's all. Alright? So therefore, we should at first, just now, we should at first represent things in terms of UK if it's talking about backward. Alright? But if they ask you to solve for UK minus 1, then you solve. Lah. But anyway, if you but anyway, you should somewhat solve in terms of UK, alright, for for this case. So therefore, what we need to do is to just rearrange back, alright. So this equation here is alright, it's fine. Now I'm going to write in terms of UK, okay. <laughs> so I'll just change this thing over to this side. I'll just change this thing over to this side. So if I were to change, all right, change their sign. I'm gonna change their sign. All right. Okay. Now, because this is. Okay. Now I want to express in terms of UK. All right. So I'm gonna divide everything by minus ninety five. So I divide the whole chunk by minus ninety five. So and now I have UK is equals to minus 2025 divided by minus 95 minus um, 80 divided by minus 95 plus 2000 divided by minus 95 EK minus 1. So if I were to solve for this, I would have 21.35 EK. Okay, if I were to solve for this, minus 80 divided by minus 95. I would have um, plus 0 0.842 UK 
plus it shouldn't be plus one <laughs> I write here k minus one and then write here k plus one ah so I'm gonna change a little bit alright should be minus one alright my color's mistake so I'll just write here over here minus one same thing ah uh, I didn't cheat your feeling ah uh. okay now I'm gonna evaluate this one 2000 divided by minus 95 minus 21.05 ek minus one okay so this value 21.35 0 0.842 and minus 21.05 let's check so I will have 21.35 this value is for C3 alright 21.35 somewhere I mean somewhere over here 0 0.842 is this one this is C1 so this is C1 and then minus 21.05 is this one this is C2 okay so the C2 is in fact EK minus 1 and C3 is EK and um, C1 is um, UK minus 1 in other words the constant for C1 it's UK minus 1 I mean what whatever thing that multiply for for it right C1 is for UK minus 1 that's all I just want to show you in this manner so the, the, the takeaway concept is that if you're talking about UK minus 1 and UK, then which is UK plus 1? This means that this is actually UK plus 1 for our backward case. Is that UK, this is, for some reason this is, for example, UK. Okay, UK plus 1 is simply so we know that this k is k minus 1 right so u k minus 1 plus 1 is u k so in other words this is u k <laughs> now let's take note that for this case for a backward this is u k plus 1 that's it alright for a backward we assume that u k is actually u k plus 1 it's just the same notation that's all okay and therefore this is the understanding for uh, a backward approach uh, using, using what we calculated. And I shall see you soon.